Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So we want to solve this equation for n. We've got one n on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. They're both inside logs. The logs are all to the same base, base 5. So what we're going to try and do here is write both sides as log to base 5 of something. So we want to use our laws of logs to do that. So looking at the left hand side, first of all, we can bring up the two and write this as log to base 5 of n squared. So that's the left hand side sorted out. And now the right hand side, we want to write this as log to base 5 of something. So all we need to do is to multiply together the 4 and the 3n minus 8. So we've got 4 times 3n minus 8 inside that log. So now we can get rid of the logs because if log of n squared is a log of 4 times 3n minus 8, then n squared is equal to 4 times 3n minus 8. So that's the hard bit done. Now we want to rewrite this so that it's easy to solve and it's going to be a straightforward quadratic. So let's multiply out the right hand side. So 4 times 3n is 12n, 4 eighths, 32. And then bringing everything over to the left hand side, we've got n squared minus 12n plus 32 is 0. And that factorises. So that's going to be 4 and 8 in there. So n minus 4 times n minus 8. So n is equal to 4 or 8. So let's now do uh, a quick check, make sure that we've got the, uh, the correct solution, or that the two solutions are correct. So let's check, first of all, n equals 4. So if we put that into the left-hand side of the original equation, that will give us 2 log to base 5 of 4. And the right-hand side, we will get log to base 5 of 3 times 4 minus 8. So 12 minus 8 is 4. And then the other term doesn't involve the n. So two lots of log to base 5 or 4 show us that the left hand side and right hand side are equal so that's good and let's now check n equals 8 and the left hand side is going to be 2 log to base 5 of 8 and the right hand side log to base 5 of 3 times 8 minus 8, so that's going to be 24 minus 8 is 16, and then plus log to base 5 of 4. So the check here isn't quite as simple as the, uh, the previous one. Um, we could solve this, we could simplify this by multiplying together the 16 and the 4, so that gives us 64. And we could then rewrite 64 as 8 squared. So that can then be written as 2 log to base 5 of 8, which is the same as the left-hand side. So we have got the correct answers.